covering Obama, then Trump, now Biden, what's changed? A version of this story appeared in CNN's What's Matter newsletter to get in your own box. Sign up for free here. CNN, we are now more than a week out of the Trump era and a week into the Biden era. CNN's What's Matter newsletter talked to CNN reporter Kevin Liptock who has covered the White House since the Obama administration about what's going too far and what effect we have seen the presidency talk on a man who just took the oath of office. You can read all of Kevin's stories which are some of the best written in the business here. The conversations conducted by email is below immediately different. But matters we have already about how President Joe Biden is essentially trying to undo what President Donald Trump did, or at least to appear to be a doing so. What are the immediate gains for journalists under a Biden administration? Lift off the turn of the Daily White House briefing which began hours after Biden was sworn into office is the most conduct change and seems to have been done to over the signal turn to a more normal relationship with the press corps that has extend to the hours of briefing calls and seem the fact sheet the White House has distributed on its daily exclusive exchange. It is all a return to how press relations were done under administrations before Trump, whose era in the White House was defended by open hospitality, the reporters. Of course, it was also marked by Trump leaked or almost radical insight into the presidential behavior via Twitter and his unguarded press.